is Willy Wonka. Is this the role of a lifetime? Yes, it is. This is a tone and a character I never thought I would get to be in. Grab your golden ticket. The Chocolate Factory is back in business with Timothy at the helm. Please don't make me say that again. His sidekick, Hugh Grant, is small but mighty. In Lumpa Land, I am regarded as something of a whopper. Did you ever think you'd be playing an Oompa Loompa? I didn't think I'd have sunk this low this fast, <laughs> no. Chemistry here and a sweet chemistry on screen. Huh, you did it again. Tell me what it is. Wonka is the prequel to the beloved film starring Gene Wilder and later Johnny Depp. I did. Singing and dancing, Timothy does it all. Do you feel like there are big shoes to fill? Absolutely. Well, you know, cinematic giants or however one puts it. So this film's really the companion piece to the Gene Wilder 71 film. You know, uh, some of the musical numbers from that film are in this one. This is a different story, this is the origin. Because it's a story of a young Willie, an ambitious Willie, sort of a naive Willie, who's full of hopes and dreams. He doesn't have that quality in, that we see in both of them, in the other Willy Wonka films of, you know, decades of success leading to some sort of, you know, craziness or however you want to put it. This is a more clear-eyed, young, hopeful man. A world of pure imagination. I saw Gene Wilder a bit in what you were up to. Really? Same slightly demented look in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't, didn't see that. Didn't get that feeling myself. No, I'll take it as a huge compliment. I would. I, I hope Demented. that. Yeah. yeah. And in the critics' eyes, the film is sensational. They're saying Timothy is pitch perfect. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Huh. I haven't looked at anything. And he will only read negative stuff. Hugh. So I skip the good ones looking for <laughs> little pearls of poison. <laughs> and he goes straight to the bad ones. To yeah, reinforce a negative about? worldview. Yeah. <laughs> Surely that's not good. It's not... No, it's not. It's very unhealthy. <laughs> Especially for this movie, right? Timothy is yeah, like so joyful. uplifting and joyful. And, and generous, and... yes. And it leaves you heartwarmed and feeling good. I shall poke you quite viciously with a cocktail stick. We know you can sing and dance because, of course, we've all seen Paddington too. Did the, the moves come naturally? Oh no, that's always torture. I just thought they'd be funny watching 63-year-old Englishman putting his head between his legs uh, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. Look, I, I love this team. I loved making Paddington. That's a bit of a lie. I hate my work. <laughs> but I, I loved the way it came out. <laughs> and I, I do very much admire Paul King, who wrote and directed this film and, and Paddington. And, and uh, so I, yeah, it's a pleasure to work with him. Once we've started, we can't stop. For Timothy, Wonka's world was quite the switch up. King and Dune, they were sort of evidently physically demanding. And this, because there's an element of play and fun, the, the physical demands sort of snuck up on me. You know, if you're doing 13 takes of a dance number and, um, and maintaining that generous spirit, you know, is different than, you know, a scene in a movie where you uh, are having breakfast at a diner or something. You know, this is uh, uh, this required a yeah different energy. So it, it, that part snuck up on me. But I felt that my uh, ability to be in that tone got, you know, smoothed out pretty quickly. But at first, it was a brand new world to me. Prepare to be amazed. And the young Mr. Chalamet is keeping the film's playful, extravagant energy everywhere he goes. We're all obsessed with what you've been wearing. The yeah. lavender suit, the trench coat. <laughs> Come on, Hugh, help me out here. We know how you love fashion, so. I do. Well, there was an awkward moment where in Japan, we both put on the same red latex. <laughs> Panic, wasn't it? Panic, yeah. It was, we did a coin toss and then yeah. we got to wear it. Well, he is Wonka after all. I guess it's time to change the world.